Hi, it's Kathy from WordFence. Today we're going to talk about scan configuration. Let's get started. From your WordPress dashboard, go to WordFence and scan. As you can see, we have WordFence premium scanning enabled, but let's manage the scan and see what options are available. First, we can schedule scans. This is a premium feature. You can also disable scans if you don't want the scanner to run. But let's enable the scan and let's say we're on a high traffic site and we want this to only scan in the middle of the night our time and we want it to go every other day. You can also customize that scan and say Mondays you want to scan at 5 a.m. Tuesdays 3 a.m. But for now let's keep it simple and just say every other day at 2 a.m we want our scan to run. We have it set for a standard scan. For smaller sites on entry level hosting, you may wanna do just a limited scan. If you think you may have been hacked, you may want to try a high sensitivity scan. This may give you some false positives, but it can help you identify malicious files. Under general options, you can see Many scan settings are set by default. We do not set scan theme files against the repository on for default in the event you have made a modification to a repository file, but let's go ahead and set those scans to go. You can also scan files outside of your WordPress installation. And you can scan images and binary files as if they were executable. This does take more resources, but that option is available if you think you have been hacked. There are a number of performance options. You can use low resource scanning if you'd like your scan to last longer, but use less resources. And you can also limit how the scan runs. We don't recommend making modifications to these settings unless you're having performance issues on limited hosting. There's also some advanced scan options. You can exclude files from the scan that match certain wildcard patterns, or if you're up for it, you can add ad additional scan signatures. Just add those one per line here. Then save your changes and go ahead and scan.